Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Shirtless Painter. I love you. Anyone can paint, and anyone can paint anything. And anyone can have a birthday, which is why today we're going to be painting, you guessed it, a birthday cake. I invite you to take off your shirt, take out some paint, and join along with me. All right, so I've got my canvas primed here with just sort of some birthday colors, and we're gonna be running through some of the paints that we're gonna be using so you can follow along at home. Let's dig in. Okay, so the first thing we need for a birthday cake is the cake. So we're gonna get some yellow cake color here. This was not found in Iraq. That's a little yellow cake joke that I sometimes make. A joke I make about yellow cake. That's a little rhyme I say. Okay, so we're gonna just mix it up. Get a nice, strong cake color going there. Look at that. And your cake doesn't have to be yellow. Your cake could be, oh, well, your cake could be red, brown, funfetti. Don't let anyone tell you how to live your life or how to color your cake. And if anyone tries, you send them to me. Okay, so we've got sort of our cake batter here. Be sure to, the trick is to keep it away from the black. You don't want a black cake because it's unappetizing. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm actually going to go ahead and mix up a little plate color as well because every cake needs a plate. All right. So we'll just get sort of a nice gray disc going. All right. Look at that. So I've got my flat cake pan brush here. And we're just going to dig right in and go ahead and start just doing a little sort of frisbee shape. And if you don't like frisbees, well, I feel bad for you. Frisbees are fun to play, whether on a team, ultimate frisbee, or just throwing it around yourself and going to get it and doing it again. All right, so really just get in there and give yourself a nice disc base. Look at that. Look at that. All right, so we've got our nice pan, cake pan shape here. <sighs> Blow on it. Just kidding. Okay. All right, so now we got the pan. Yum, yum, it's time for some cake. Okay, so you could do as many layers on your cake as you like. I'm just gonna start from the bottom. Now we're here. We're here painting. I like to think that Drake song is about painting because you always gotta start from the bottom. And now you're here with a lovely painting all finished for your birthday or a friend's birthday. And if you don't like cake, you could do a pie. You could do a pizza pie. Either or, a pie or a pizza pie. Okay, so just go ahead and build that up real nice. Give it as many layers as you want. Get that. 
Now, I'm not a good baker, but I do like to paint. Baked goods. Now this could be a birthday cake for you. This could be a birthday cake for a friend. This is a great way to pass the time if you're celebrating your birthday alone, or a great way to pass the time with friends. Look at that. And some of the gray from your pan might get into the cake. Cake mix there, doesn't matter, it's all going to the same place, your eyes. They say the eyes are bigger than the stomach, and, well, I believe them. All right. Okay, so we've got our couple of layers there, a couple of cake layers. And to, now to stick these two layers together, we're going to add a little bit of frosting layer in between. So I like the color brown frosting, So in order, and we all know that brown is the mix of all colors. So we're just going to dip, dab diddly do, just do a little all color brown, look at that, add a little more orange, oh, that's a lot of orange, great. And then this is a little trick I like to do, just giving it a little dabbly do. Just sort of chugging along like a little train. Kind of makes your canvas flop around like sails on a boat. And in a way, it is a boat. Takes you on a journey to an island of painting. Okay, so we've got our center stripe, our fudge stripe. Great, look at that. Sometimes your uh, paper towels will get a little wet, and my motto is, when it starts to sop, it's time to stop. So, and start with a new paper towel. So I always keep a few paper towels. I got these from the restroom at the municipal building in my town. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and add just a little darker shade of uh, cake mess right here. Just to kind of fill it in up top. Give it that nice cakey. And again, this is a just a system of Frisbees, really, as I said. So give it that top Frisbee. And really make it pop. Speaking of pop, nothing goes better with cake than, you guessed it, a nice cold soda. So again, soda is brown, so we're just going to create some more of our brown, which is all colors here. So we'll just get a little dab of everything, sort of a rainbow coalition. Mix it together. Look at that. Okay. So, I don't know about you, but I like to drink my soda out of small glass bottles. So we're gonna go ahead and paint ourselves a nice, ice-cold Coca-Cola in a glass bottle, just like the old days. Okay. And it doesn't have to be a Coca-Cola. You could drink Sprite, Sprite Remix. Coke Zero, anything you want. I tried Coke for the first time just the other day. I didn't sleep for a week. So I'm gonna make mine a caffeine free because Who needs to be awake all the time? All right, so that's a little sloppy, but that's okay. We're gonna spruce it up. 
right now. We'll get just some nice little white highlights here. Just to really show the contours and little sexy sexy shape of a Coke bottle there. To me it looks like a woman. Don't tell my wife. Look at that. Ooh, baby. Look at that. Very sexy. So we've got our main cake shape, we got our bottle of pop. We've got a lot of refreshments out, but every good birthday party needs friends. So here, this you can use real friends, you could use people you'd like to make friends with. Use your imagination. First thing I'm gonna add, because she might already be mad at me about this Coca-Cola crack, so the first thing I'm gonna do is add my wife. Just get it out of the way. All right. So we'll just mix up some nice wife, wife shade here. And your wife's skin could be any color. My wife's parents were adopted, so we don't know where she's from. So her ethnicity is ambiguous. And. She's just gonna be a tiny wife today. And we'll give her a nice little party hat to celebrate. Okay. Sort of looks like a dunce cap, but my wife is no dunce. Or a Christmas elf. So we just wanna give our wife Nice black eyes. And we'll give her a surprised face. She can't believe how big that cake is. And she's coming from work, so we're gonna have her in her nursing whites. My wife is a nurse. Great, look at that. Look at that. And well, what the heck, we're already halfway there. Let's go ahead and make her an elf. Just a little birthday elf. All the Christmas has its own elves, but you don't ever hear about a birthday elf. Well, guess what? Today it's the birthday elves time to shine. Maybe I'll write a movie called My Wife the Birthday Elf. Sound off in the comments if you think I should write that movie. Love to hear your feedback. Screenplay is really just a painting with words, so keep that in mind. Look at that, man. Little pointy shoes. And of course, we got to give her some hands so that she can make the birthday presents. Not with Santa Claus, but with, well, we'll call him Birthday Bob. He's a man who comes to your house every year and brings you birthday presents for your birthday. So. Just a little character I made up. Sound off in the comments if you think I should write up Birthday Bob or my wife, the birthday elf. Okay, so we've got our Coca-Cola, we've got our birthday wife, and of course we've got our main birthday cake, but we need some more, we need some more friends at this party. One of my favorite friends from TV is, you guessed it, Bart Simpson. So we're just gonna have him peeking in real, real big. Just watching over things, making sure no one's having a cow. Don't have a cow. Don't ever have a cow. Just give him, his, give him his old, big old spikes here. Look at that, look at that. Maybe he's sneaking just a little taste of the Coca-Cola, whoop. 
I hope Marge doesn't know. Just stealing a little sip. Wrapping his old lips around it. Just fill him in. Gorgeous. And in order, we gotta make sure that Bart knows what the hell he's sucking on right now. So let's go ahead and give him, let's go ahead and give him some eyes. Sometimes you gotta reload on paint, whoop, and that's okay. Just let it rain down. Okay, let's go ahead and give him some big old eyes there. Big old eyes, all right. And again, it's a system of Frisbees. So just think of Bart's eyes as you get more Frisbees in your series of Frisbees. That's all painting is. Everything can be boiled down to Frisbees. peepers in there. Look at that. Look at that. So some of the yellow might get in there. That's okay. Looks like he might have a bit of jaundice or some other disease. That's okay. Don't have a cow. Don't have a cow. Don't ever have a cow. Okay, so we'll just fill in those old eyes. And whoop, I carumba. I'm drinking a Coke, that's what he's probably thinking. Or maybe it's a Homer Simpson Duff beer and we don't know about it, shh. Okay, so we've got our Bart Simpson, we've got our wife and we've got something to drink. And I know what you're thinking, this cake is missing some icing. So this is when we go into our backpack. And we get our icing. Won't be needing this. And then we just go into our front area here. This is where I keep all my tools. And we get our nice icing brush. Okay. So just go ahead and crack that open. Go ahead and take a big old dollop of our brown here. And nobody's looking, might as well take a taste. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't see nothing. All right, so again, don't have a cow about it. Just go ahead and ice it on there as much as you choose. And if anyone's seen my son, definitely sound off in the comments about that. Definitely let me know. Okay. 
And again, don't be shy with the frosting. Really slop it on there. Sometimes you might have to get low, like they say in the music video. Get low, touch your toes, do whatever you gotta do. Just make sure you cover up all that old, mean old yellow with some friendly, tasty brown. Yeah. Ooh, hell yeah. Okay. Great, so we got our cake frosted. Now it's time to add, you guessed it, the candles. So we go back into our bag here. And we'll just go into our candle pocket. You've heard of a candle box, well, that's a band, this is a pocket. And just start putting some candles in there. As many as you choose. You're the boss. Great. So this could be a cake for a six-year-old, a 60-year-old, or just someone who can't count. Okay. And now it's time. To light the candles. Now if you're a child, don't use a lighter, but ask your parents for some help. And if your parents aren't home, well then, just this once you could do it. Okay. Look at that. And it'll start to smoke a little bit. That's normal. Painting will start to smoke. That's quite all right. Thank you for joining me today on this episode of Shirtless Painter. I invite you to take off your shirt and paint along with me at home next time. Happy birthday and I love you.